Yet another winning day on the Power 5 yesterday. Can you believe we're now 32-14-3 on the show the last 10 days? Go ahead, smash that like button now if you've been on board for this great run, enjoying these free winners. I've got Major League Baseball and college football for you on Friday. Let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my selections. Let's start things off. Number one, Reds plus 105 versus the Brewers. This is game one of a doubleheader on today's slate. This series likely determines whether or not the Reds are still a legit contender going into September. They come off a huge come-from-behind win yesterday here at home against the A's. Why I'm targeting the first game of today's doubleheader is that I want to fade Milwaukee starter Colin Rea. And if you've been listening to the program for any length of time, you know that I regularly look to fade Rea. Yes, He's 5-0 in his career against Cincinnati, but that record comes with a 5.01 ERA, so it's misleading. Reyes, uh 3.61 ERA for the season, also a bit misleading, as he has a 4.88 expected ERA. Two of his four starts this month, Rea has allowed four more runs, so the expected regression that I predicted seems to be setting in. Meanwhile, Nick Martinez, he seems to have made a successful transition to the starter's role for Cincinnati. The former reliever had his best ever start back on August 10th when he tossed seven shutout innings of one-hit ball against these very same Brewers. The Reds are one of the few teams with a bullpen to match Milwaukee's. I like them to win the first game. By the way, that's an early start, 1240 Eastern. If you don't want to miss these early plays I'm giving out here on the Power 5, make sure to click that bell down below so that you get instant alerts when this show drops. We do the Power 5 each and every day here on Wager Talk TV. All right, now let's do a couple totals for Friday. First, over 7.5 in San Diego, Tampa Bay. Usually I'm looking to back the Padres. Not today, though, with Martin Perez on the mound. Perez has a 5.56 expected ERA for the season, a 5.98 career ERA in 19 appearances against the Rays. I realize that on the surface, it appears as if Perez has gotten better since coming over to San Diego in the trade with the Pirates team has won all five of his starts, but I am not buying it, nor am I buying Tampa Bay's Taj Bradley in this spot. Bradley's K-rate is way down since the All-Star break. Tonight, he's facing a Padres lineup that owns the highest team batting average in all of baseball. If you've been listening to Power 5 every day, then you know I've cashed the under each of the last two Padres games, but tonight, up and over, seven and a half, way too low of a total considering who is on the mound in this one. How about another over? Over 8.5 in Pirates-Guardians. We continue to see runs scored here at Progressive Field here in Cleveland. There were 12 runs put on the board when I went to the ballpark uh, on Wednesday, and the guards came from behind to beat the Royals. The over is now 37-24-4 at Progressive Field this season. I've previously gone through the physical changes to the ballpark that are the cause for the increase in scoring relative to last year. But another reason we're seeing more runs scored in Cleveland games in 2024, their starting rotation's just not very good, guys. It'll be Ben, don't call me Blake Lively on the mound Friday. I have not been all that impressed with him. But fortunately for the Guardians today, they are going up against a pirate staff that has permitted, get this, 50 four runs over the last five games. That's an average of more than 10 per game. Ouch, my word. Uh, Bailey Falter starting on Friday for the Bucks. No thank you. He allowed five runs in five innings last time out. Terrible 1.77 whip. His last three starts, yet another game with a total that is too low. Over eight and a half it is for Pirates Guardians. Guys, I'm going to get to my favorite situational play for Friday in just a moment. But first, I've got to remind you, I was a perfect 2-0 last night at wagertalk.com with my premium selections. In MLB, I cashed the Astros' first five run line. And my very first college football play of the season was a no-doubt-about-it winner with the under on North Carolina, Minnesota. I am now a perfect 5-0 the last three days. It's number one at Wager Talk and 7-1-1 the last five days. Tonight, I am going to have a 5% max bet in Major League Baseball. I've only released five such plays all season, gone four and one, so be on the lookout for that. WT.buzz slash BP. It does not get any bigger than that. Okay, now back to the Power Five. Minnesota, minus 150 versus Toronto. This is my favorite situational play for Friday. The Twins had Thursday off. The Blue Jays were in Boston. Minnesota really needs this one. They were swept here at home by Atlanta earlier in the week. Now, the starting pitching matchup of Pablo Lopez versus Kevin Gosman looks to be pretty even on paper. 
I will point out, though, that Lopez, he's got a 3.52 expected ERA, while Gosman's expected ERA, 4.75. And Lopez has been trending in a positive direction, as you might imagine. 2.39 actual ERA his last eight starts. Meanwhile, Gosman, he struggled in his career against the Twins, going 1-4 with a 6.94 ERA in 12 starts. But the biggest edge for Minnesota today, other than the schedule, resides in the bullpen. Toronto's bullpen is absolutely atrocious. Bottom three in ERA for the season. They don't have Bowden Francis to carry them to victory today. Great spot for the Twins to get back on track. That is why I am willing to lay the juice here and back the home team to get a win. Now, how about a play in college football for tonight? Rounding out the Power 5 is Western Michigan, plus 24 against Wisconsin. Anything more than three touchdowns will do here with the Broncos, who return a lot of production on both sides of the ball this year. And they should be a surprise team in the MAC, I think. It's a weak MAC. Somebody's going to step up. I think it's the team from Kalamazoo. More importantly, though, Wisconsin, they didn't have a single win by more than 21 points last season. And head coach Luke Fickle, 6-12 and 12 ATS in his career when favored by at least 22, including 0-7 the last seven times. Woo! Uh, I've got major question marks with this Badgers team. A quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke, who comes in. He had 17 interceptions the last two years at Miami. The OC, Phil Longo, his schemes, they just didn't seem to translate well in Madison last year. And this Wisconsin defense is just two starters back in the front seven. I think Western Michigan keeps this one close than the odds makers think. We will take the plus 24. Time to recap the Power 5 for Friday. Number one, Reds plus 105 versus the Brewers. That's game one of the doubleheader. Number two, over seven and a half, San Diego, Tampa Bay. Number three, over eight and a half, Pirates, Guardians. Number four, Minnesota minus 150 versus Toronto. Number five, Western Michigan plus 24 against Wisconsin. A little Friday night lights in college football. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. We always appreciate your support. And how does a free week of winners sound? You can get a full week of my selections free of charge right now with the purchase of a two-week all-access pass at wagertalk.com. Buy the two weeks. We'll throw in a third week of service at no extra cost. That gives you not only every premium football release, but MLB and soccer as well. Already posted for the weekend is my CFB best bet. I'm now on a 20-8 and eight college football run going back to last season after the easy winner last night. Also on an 8-0-1 run in the English Premier League going back to last season. My EPL game of the week also goes Saturday. That is locked and loaded as well. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, by the way. Not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno, who I believe is calling me right now. So that does it for the Power 5 here on Friday. Once again, going to have a 5% max bet in Major League Baseball tonight, hitting 80% with those this season. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to pick that up. Also, you can find me on X at BrianPower underscore wins. Special college football edition of the Power 5 coming up tomorrow. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.